Hello Stamper! Welcome to French's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up, and today we're going to do a candle, a flower candle. I did many in the past, um, but it was when we had the big die. This time it's using the oval um, framelit, and I used the three smallest size. I cut some in Mary Merlot, some in um, Cherry Cobbler, and then the one that I cut in Mossy Meadow, that is the smallest one, and I get the second of the smallest. Those one you're going to fold in two, and you're going to put it a little bit more uh, pointy. So you're just going to shape it off a little bit like this, shape that a little bit, and then I sponge it with a uh, mossy metal. And the sponging, it's just optional. It just adds a little bit more character. Now you're going to curve this. And I prepare all that. The um, round one, not the round one, but for the petal of the flower, those one I didn't cut pointy, just for the leaf. Now we're going to start on a two and a quarter circle. I use Mer 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 Mary Merlot. Now the candle is going to go right in the center here. And we don't want to glue the candle there because if the battery get out or then we could just punch it, see? But in case the battery go out, we're going to use just a glue dot for now to get started. So then that's going to help us out. This is just a little uh, battery operated and it seems during the holidays we can find plenty of them. Here we go. Now. I use the NL punch. This is just a regular NL punch that, um, you know, for uh, paper and that. And I punch a hole again in Mer Mary Merlot. And then I'm coming with the one and a half punch. I went with one and a quarter, it was a little bit too small. Punch that, and that's going to go on top of your candle. It's tight a little bit, and maybe depending on the type of candle, that's going to have to be adjusted. That's just going to cover the top of the candle there. Now, you can use Tombow. Uh, when I did in the past, I was using a heat tool because that was going faster. So what I'm going to do is just glue those like two together and then I'm going to start building and this is going to go right at the edge and I should have my silicone mat in the bottom just because if I go off now I'm going to use two more and you can curl it up or down if you curl it up then it fit better on the table right so and again oops so now after you're done with your leaves we're going to do the petal for the flowers. So I'm going to do a, a few. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to keep on going and then I will be back uh, to finish the video. Because if not, I mean, you don't want to see me uh, putting all this together. So now here it is for uh, the petal. That's, I mean, the leaves. I just mix match that like that. Now, for the, I'm going to start with the big one. The big one is the third from the smallest. And again, you want it to face up. If you sponge on the wrong way, no biggie. Turn this up <coughs> and turn this up. And even if it's beat up and crinkled like that, that it's perfectly fine. It just gives some character. You can pinch them. See, when you pinch them, how more it looks like a petal. And then I'm going to pinch this and so you want to give it a little bit of character and what I'm going to do right now just to speed up my process here I just going to use my uh, the glue dots yes I'm going to use a truckload of glue dots but that I'm okay with that and then I want to make so push that up a bit. The beauty about if you use um, if you use a uh, heat uh, glue, you know the odd glue, then you're going to get more character. It's going to go faster up. So that's a beauty of it. And to be honest, I'm almost attempt to get it, but I think I can do it. 
So then I'm going to just mix match some Mary Merlot and some of the, the Cherry Cobbler. So now I'm going to pause the video and then I'm going to keep on building a bit and then I'm going to turn it back on. Okay, now I'm ready for the second layer. So what I done, I remove my candle and I add a few of the dimensional there. And I'm going to add one more there. And then let's remove this. Because I'm not using a hot glue gun. So I want to puff that up a little bit. So now I'm going to go with the medium size. And again, crunch that to give some... Um, to lift that up there. See? Crunch. Crunch this up. So you really want to squeeze this to give some good depth so it starts building up your flower. And mine it's kind of white, but we're going to make it uh, work. I could have went smaller, but here we go. So now I got this layer here. See, it sit right there. Now for the next few layers, what I'm going to do is take my uh, those leaves there. Now I'm going to take a glue dot and I'm going to go right on the side of this. See? And now I'm going to build from that candle. So, and I didn't count. You're going to have each uh, flower, really. It depends how close you're going to put it together, how apart you're going to uh, put it together. That, oops, wrong way. That's okay. Uh, that's going to make a big difference on how many petals you're going to use. So now I get one more of this one, and then we're going to start with the smaller one. So I put it in the front. I'm going to put that one a little bit more there and move this one up. Oh, well, maybe it's going to stay there. I'm going to put the red in the center. So let me keep on building this, and then I'm going to come back to show the finish. Here we go. I am back. And now it's about to finish. So what I done, see I prepare all this on my glue dot. So we're going to take this and now really it's just fill the where I still see some white there. And another thing that you can always do, it's to cover your candle with um, a strip of the color of your uh, paper, of your uh, flower. That would work wonderful also. But right now, I'm just filling up this way. See, I'm all in between. And need some glue dot. This one I forgot. Oh, wrong way. Hmm. Put it on the outside. Here we go. That looked pretty full to me. So now, just temporary, I would just add like a glue dot like I did. Because you want to be able to remove it. To go Now, because I get the... It won't work uh, the off and on. But here we go. Now you got... Oops. That would bug me. One second. I think that I would remove those dimensional. So, here we go. Now it's center. Here we go. So, uh, here, I'm going to crunch this. And crunch. Et voila. You got your centerpiece of flower. So you can do it as big as you want or as little as you want. This side needs to be crunched a little bit more. Here we go. And you get your flower. Oh, 
this help you. Um, Barbat shared that with the team and they wanted to know how to do it. And I said, don't worry, I will do a video. So this is it for uh, my Christmas centerpiece uh, candle. Thank you for watching. And all supplies will be on my blog below in the description or above in the high. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now.